but you're not going to be able to do that right now. So it's my thing. 104 registered. Whoa. Happy Monday. Everyone, please introduce yourself. Your name, where you do business, and what are you most excited about today? What's going on, everybody? Please let me know if you can hear me and see Parkbench 1.0 on the screen in front of you. It's an exciting day today. Garrick, thank you. How you doing? I hope you are well. Maybe I should... Uh... My webcam. There we go. So now, now, you should, now you should be seeing me. I wanted to, wanted you all to see me before I un unleash the website. We're going to be starting. Uh, we got a whole bunch of people registered. I think a record. I think we had to upgrade the plan on this webinar software because there were way too many people wanting to register to see Park Bench 2.0. So this is an exciting time. We are live on Facebook. We are live on Instagram. And we are live on YouTube and Webinar Jam to unleash Parkbench 2.0, the beta. So, so this is not even live to the public yet. This is just live to a select group of customers. So everyone, please say hello. Please, you know, give your name. Tell me where you do business. Uh, and tell me what you're excited about today. What you're excited to see. What you're excited to learn about. Um, now, now, we've got some guests. Some non-Park Bench family members on the webinar today. So for everybody who's a part of Park Bench, please in the chat box, say your name, tell everybody, you know, who you are, why you signed up for us. And, uh, and today I'm still gonna be working with you. This is a mastermind for us because we're still gonna be, you know, asking for your feedback, asking for you know, input on how to, you know, improve Parkbench 2.0 because you are the first ones to look at it. Uh, this is the premiere. Um, so, so if anyone's got any issues hearing or seeing me, I do apologize. We're, we're testing it out. Um, you could always go on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is doing this Grant FS official. We got my Facebook, I believe, is doing this Grant FS official part Facebook.com. So if you have any issues on Webinar Jam, you can always uh, go on those sites, um, but you won't be able to chat. Um, but uh, so we got the chat box going today. I've got some team members, um, some Park Bench family team members on the chat answering questions. And uh, I'm excited, so I'm going to turn my ugly mug off and show the beautiful Park Bench 2.0. So let's let's turn this off. Let's turn this on, and let's get into it. So if you have any questions, if you have any things that you definitely want to see, then please. This is not Parkbench 2.0. This is Parkbench 1.0. This is actually the the fourth design of Parkbench. If you're if you've been with us for longer than a year, you would have seen the previous design. We probably changed the design and the user experience about every one or two times a year because we're constantly evolving. We're constantly adding new features. Um, 
And things need to change, right? Every good website in the world changes. So, so you know, if you're with us, we're going to be making change today. We're so excited about this. And I guarantee in about six to 12 months time, we're going to be going, ah, let's make another change um, to make it look better. So it's a constant evolution, but I'm about to unleash 2.0. Wait. Oh, some of you may have seen it. All right, so we got a new homepage. Okay. We're going, we're going clean. We're going white. Okay, this was again feedback from everybody. Was make it cleaner. You know, everyone's got different colors. Every realtor's brokerage is 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 different in their color scheme. So, you know, even, even users, you know, some people like some colors, some people don't. Um, so we've definitely gone a little bit cleaner, but there's definitely a whole, because, because we, when we first created the old site, we were in three states and three provinces. Now we're in five provinces and 46 states. A whole bunch of stuff has changed because, uh, there's an SEO play to the fact that we are in over 3,700 neighborhoods across Canada and the U.S. now. So um, this is the new homepage. When people when people get there, boom! Look at this, right? So it's going to be so much easier to find your neighborhood. Um, a lot of the new realtors have seen that, and I'll show you later today. When you when you we only work with one realtor per area. You, you guys know that. And you guys all bought a block. And now we're actually creating mini neighborhood websites inside that block. Because you may have bought a town or you may have bought a couple zip codes or you may have bought, you know, a bunch of neighborhoods in your, in, in, in your area. And we didn't want to just have one domain for all of it. We wanted to have a separate domain name for all of the little areas. So now you just start typing things in and you're going to see all the options show up and it even takes into consideration you might be misspelling it. So Malibu shows up and as I type more in, more things start showing up. So an easier user experience to get people to find their neighborhood. So now let's get into the home page. Okay, so again, if you have any questions, um, please put them in the chat box and my team and I will help answer them. Okay, so total change again to the homepage of your neighborhood websites. As you can see, we took away that our friendly sponsor above your ad, and we just brought your ad to the top, right? This is your neighborhood site, you're the main sponsor, you're the local leader, we wanna bring you up higher, bring your properties up higher, and everyone was debating around, you know, our friendly sponsor, the friendly sponsor, brought to you by, and so we just said, ah, screw it, let's just, Let's just get rid of the whole thing and just bring your brand and bring your properties up higher on the right side of the page. The second thing you'll notice is again that 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 blue, you know, it just had a lot of feedback as much as we love Park Bench Blue. We know some of you don't. And so that's okay. So again, we got a much more clean, white, neutral design to appeal to more people. Um, and then your neighborhood name is just pop right in the top left, um, nice and easy to see and find. Okay, now the tabs, where are the tabs? They've changed, okay? So they're higher up, right? We wanna make it easier for people to cruise around the neighborhood site, see the news, see the events, see the deals, the blogs, the directories. And, I'll, um, and what you'll also notice is I hover over and oop, the blog is now being divided. Okay, again, tons of feedback uh, from you all on, hey, 
Can we separate the interviews from all the other blogs? Because even if, even if I or someone else adds a blog to the site, what if people just want to read the interviews? All right, so now the interviews is separate from the other. You can separate the interviews from the blogs. And now what's happening is people are getting into video. So we're super excited. I mean, realtors, video is obviously the best form of a medium out there, best form of content, most engaging form of content. And so when you take that extra effort and you create the video, let's separate that out because people want to watch videos about the community. So let's, let's separate the videos from the interviews from just the rest of the blogs. So that's the change that we're, we're excited about. And then with real estate. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to go a little bit deeper into that. But as you can see, we're already separating out, hey, I'm interested in the, prof in, in the go-to real estate expert in the area. Hey, I'm interested in the listings. And then the cool thing is we can, add, I, I, I want to search for properties. So in 2017, we're adding a search on the site. Some of you have already added your IDX on the site. And so another thing will show up below this is saying search properties. So it's easier to get through the different real estate tabs. It's easier for the user to get to where they want to go faster. Right. Because again, we look at we even talk to users, not just you. We talk to the business owners, talk to the users and people want to get to places faster. And so that's why we divided these things up. OK, I'm going to go click into these a little bit later. Another big change. All right. Post info. Now, now, if you have any feedback and ideas on, on a better word, add content, post content. Right, because you know what this is is now anybody in the community more easily can add their business, can add an event, can add news articles, can add a blog. Right, we we've seen other people in the community put content on the site, which is amazing for you and for the neighborhood site because the more content that's created, the more people sign up. The more, the bigger that database gets for you, the bigger the subscribers get for the people who receive the newsletter and more unique content, more SEO, more traffic, right? It all starts to spiral up. So we are helping anybody add content to your site by putting it over here in this drop down. Okay. Instead of, instead of having it dispersed, we're centralizing the ability to add content because we want to make it easier for people to add content. So please, again, in the chat box, if you have feedback, if you like something, please let us know. If you don't like something, please let us know. If you have any ideas, please let us know, right? This is a mastermind session for all of our clients. Um, and then some uh, people who are interested in joining the family, hey, if you've got ideas, if you've got feedback, if you like something, please do let us know. Um, it's always good to get some outside perspective as well. Uh, but a lot of you have been invited um, by another sponsor. Um, and that's why we kind of open this up to the public because some of the sponsors are like, hey, my friend is thinking about becoming a sponsor for another area. Could she take a look at the new site? So uh, welcome to everybody who is potentially wanting to join the Park Bench family. We're a fun, loving, welcoming group. Okay, so, and then in the top right corner, all right, this is where your name is. This is when you're logged in, this is what you'll see. Shout out to the Straley team for helping us come to the decision on what to call your back end, right? Like there's the profile that as a user you have, then there's the control panel. And this is where you edit everything under the real estate section. This is where you add listings. And I'm going to get into that in a section. But I just want to go over that home page. It's so much cleaner looking, right? We've got those lead generation in a more modern way on the side. I know some, you know, some people were like, hey, those, those images were a little bit tacky, right? So it's really new age, flat design, modern, just like all the new platforms um, you know, in the world. And look what we've bumped up. 
Okay, so let's go back to the homepage of the neighborhood site. You've got pictures on the side of the page, okay? So you can scroll through this photo gallery, but take a look at this, right? We've tested this out uh, before and, and we're bringing this back because this is one of the things that made my neighborhood unique when I started this, was people would review the neighborhood, right? Forget about reviewing businesses. Where is there a site where locals are reviewing the neighborhood and what it's like to live and work in the neighborhood. So if I just click here and they go best neighborhood ever, I'm in Canada, so I gotta add that U. Be like, I love Liberty Village. I literally never leave because I don't need to. And if you know me, and you've ever been to Liberty Village in Toronto, you'll know that this message is true. Okay, bang, right? Oh, that was a bug, right? That was a, that was a, a zero out of five. I should be able to edit this. Let's see if I can edit this. I got some of my developers on here. My reviews. Okay, so I'm gonna add Another review, review the neighborhood. One stop shop, amazing local businesses. Love vibrant lifestyles. Okay, so people can get creative, you can write whatever you want here, and then when you go to the home page, that latest review shows up. We got the weather here, we got the location, like the city and the province, and now look what's popped up. This is another new feature. What's new, right? What's happening in the neighborhood? What are people posting? Okay, is there new deals? Is there new businesses? Is there new reviews? Now there's a central location to see what new has been added by people. Then we got the deals right at the top here because without a doubt, the deals have been the most um, important, you know, like desired feature out there. Okay, everyone wants to, um, everyone wanted to, you know, see the deals. Everyone signs up for deals. Businesses want to get engaged because their deals go front and center. So everyone was like, hey, can we push the deals up? Um, so we did. We got new deals, we got daily specials, okay? And uh, I like that question, where did the blue even come from for Park Bench? So, if you look at the data, most big brands in the world are either blue or red. And at the time when we started, uh, we, we didn't really like Yelp. And, um, you know, we just said, okay, we gotta be blue. And then we looked at all the different shades of blue. <laughs> for other platforms out there because we wanted to have our own because we said, hey, in the future, we see the app on people's phones, right? 2017, we're coming out with the mobile app and then there's gonna be a distinct color for the Park Bench app so that it stands out on your phone. It's a different color than someone else's. So don't think it's another brand. Um, and so that's how we chose it. We wanted to be, we didn't want to be red. And then we wanted to be blue and we found a shade that was unique and that was it, <laughs> right? Like be different. That was it. Pretty simple. Okay. Now scrolling down the homepage, we got recent news and we have upcoming events. All right. Again, so one of the issues in the last design was that if the, if the event that we aggregated from the site didn't have a picture, it kind of, it took up a lot of space. This, this, this non picture, you know, this, the image of the date. So we have reduced the size of the pictures because once you click on a news article, um, the picture gets much bigger. Okay, so we got recent news, upcoming events. It's a lot cleaner and easier to see this content. And then we blow up the interviews. We've got a nice big image to help show businesses, hey, in many ways, shapes, and forms, we help drive people to the directory. 
All right, here's a new look for the directory. And again, blog posts, interviews about the businesses will show up below here. And then we've got your listings and, and more listings. Like if you had more listings on here, let's take a look at another site open. More listings show up, right? We want to encourage you to add your listings to your park bench site. So the more listings you add, the more show up on the homepage. It's clean, it's elegant, more exposure for your business, right? So here's an example of another neighborhood site. All right, now let's go back to Liberty Village. Okay, so if I click on news, here's the new design for how news are being shown. Again, vertical, it's mobile responsive, it's, it's better, you know, than the, depending upon what pictures are being uploaded, right? The size is more, you know, fitting because when we aggregate news, everyone's pictures on the different news sites are different sizes. And so this one is more tailored towards more sites, right? So that was a learning for us over time as we started to aggregate so much content, um, how to properly design it. People can add comments now. To the news hey great article send all right great article i totally agree one of the best condos i've ever seen and my client bought it all right whatever that news article is you can make a comment and what happens is if they're not logged in and they want to make a comment they're gonna be creating an account Right, they're gonna be signing up. Right, more subscriptions for you. Okay, so here's all the different news articles. If I click on the events, now the events are showing up. Right, if there isn't a picture, that's okay. We just took it away. Right, keep it simple, and then and then and then like Pinterest, things will stack up on each other. All right, now keep in mind, not all the data that's on the current site is on this site. This is still the beta that just gives an example of how everything is going to be, okay? Deal section. One, we're prompting businesses to put up deals right at the beginning because the more businesses that do that, the more that sign up, the more you can interview, the more who use it, the more customers who come to the site, the more subscribers, the more database, the more traffic, okay? We got top deals for new customers. We got daily specials. People can sift through and say, hey, it's tomorrow. What are the specials? And hey, if people write reviews about businesses, what kind of rewards are they going to get? So again, simple, elegant, new design. I've done over the blog. I went over the directory. Now let's dive into a business. All right, I click on a business. We got the photo gallery. People can add photos. Hey, I can add a photo. Let's say this business this this was a photo of this business. Add photos. I could add multiple photos if I wanted. Okay, I can take a look at the map. Nice and big to help people get to where the business is. And then I've got the description. Hey, what's their rating? Hey, what's their address? What's their telephone number? On the phone, you'll be able to click on this. Are we missing something? All right, their hours would be listed here. Lots of different businesses with different information. Hey, let's get this coupon. Hey, I wanna write a review. Hey, I'm a new customer. Let's take a look at the reviews. This is a tip. Here's a reply to the review. It stands out, right? Which the business will be pleased about. Hey, my reviews stand out. And then, and then people can just click on here, write a review, you know, best coffee in LV. You know, I love this place. 
oldest coffee shop in LV. Right, however people want to write the reviews, send review. Okay. Um, then we got sales and specials. All right, we're taking this daily specials thing away. Right, so people, it'll be it'll, it'll, their daily specials will just show up in list form here, and then users just say, "Hey, I've never been here before." Success, you got the deal. Just went right to my phone. Okay, so that's the business site. All right, and now I know, know what you most have been waiting for is the real estate side. So let's click on it. All right, take a look at this. Okay, so as you can see, we've removed the tabs here. I love your feedback here. Okay, now the map behind it centers around the area that you're a realtor for. And look, contact me. Probably wonder why we did that, right? We want like, like there are people going to your real estate pages. So we wanna help you collect leads through the, through the site. Your contact information, your photo, removing everything up. If people wanna go back to Liberty Village, they just click on the ad and they go back here. Otherwise, you click on real estate, and you'll see here, so Renata owns one area, Liberty Village. Then her blog posts and her interviews, right? I'm a realtor, look at how I'm involved in the community. All right, I'll show another realtor, and, and look at my listings. And hey, do you know me? Write a review about me, and yes, all right, I can, I can already hear the, the wheels turning. We're going to be monitoring this so no one can spam you and slander you and defame you. We will have control over this, right? But now you can get reviews, right? As well as post your testimonials. Okay, now let's take a look at another area. All right, Nancy over here. If I click on real estate, She got an about section. Look at all the areas that she serves, right? So when you buy a block, and this is why I know some realtors are buying more areas. When you buy a block, we map out and create micro sites for all the different areas. And, and if you look down in the bottom left, you'll see that, hey, I click on one. Now I'm on the Linden Hill site. Now it's pretty much the same content, right? But hey, like it's showing up, right? This is great for SEO and this is great for people to see all the different neighborhoods that you work, which is why realtors should be buying the area that they truly do want to work, right? For their career, for multiple years, right? This is not, not just a one year marketing thing. You guys all know this. This is a three, five plus year marketing thing. So, so make sure you own as much, uh, the areas that you want to work over the next three to five years. Now you can put your testimonials in here. You got your latest blog posts that you've uploaded and you got your listings and people can write reviews. Now let's go back here because, hey, I wanna look at some listings. I just click on feature listings and voila. All right, oh, Southwest Minneapolis. Here's some listings. Click on one, it opens up. Contact about the listing. Where is it on a map? Where's the description? All right. Okay. All right, now, good question about tip, all right? So tips are like, try this, don't try this, do this, ask for this guy. A review is your whole uh, experience written out. It's a longer form, right? So sometimes people just want to get a summary of what all the tips are. All right, great question. All right, so let me bring up another agent. Okay, and here 
We've got awards, we've got designations. Okay, all the different sections that she works. Contact information down the side of the page. Okay, so all the things, all right, they've moved around a bit, but we've, if you've noticed the color scheme, right, compared to old park bench, let's see if I can find it. Okay, compared to old park bench, I want to go old. Okay, so here's old park bench. <laughs> Look how ugly this is. Right, so all these tabs here are now going to be found under here. Okay, so now, all right, so, so that concludes, right, like, the main things, right? We've got this, this review the neighborhood is a really cool new feature. We're gonna be adding more information about the neighborhood in this block so people can learn about the neighborhood. Deals are moving up. Blogs are being blown up. Your interviews are being blown up. Your listings are on the home page. We got a what's new section all right, the news and the events are better designed to, to show more. And if they don't have pictures, because some sources don't, it doesn't look as, you know, tacky. It doesn't take up as much space. We've separated out the interviews and the videos that people are now doing and submitting. All right, and then there's slightly new designs to how news and events and deals are shown. All right, the next thing is that we want to show is the control panel. Okay. So here is your new back end that we call the control panel. All right, this is probably the biggest facelift. All right, I love this. All right, because this is where you all live within your control panel. The user sees the front page, you operate in your control panel. And now we've got a dashboard. So you can see front and center the metrics that matter. How many listings do you have up? How many businesses are on your site? How many subscribers do you have to your area? How many leads have you been getting? And we've now introduced the leaderboard. All right, how are you doing compared to every other realtor, a part of the network? All right, we're one big giant family and I know I'm heavily competitive with my sisters. So how are you doing compared to your sisters and brothers? We got the leaderboard. So every month it's gonna reset, okay? So how are you doing and who is the top? All right, for how many interviews they've been doing you can see all the neighborhoods that you own, all those little micro sites, all the big and the big ones as well. How many interviews have you done month after month, right? Everyone goes through ebbs and flows. So it's like, wow, look how many I did that month versus how little I did that month, right? I got to get back on track, right? We all, when you work with your account managers, you go through your goals. How many interactions do I need to have to hit my goal? How many prospect meetings? How many interviews do I need to do to hit my goal? And so by seeing a big picture, of how you're doing, it's gonna help you stay on track and help our coaches help you stay on track. Um, and in this dashboard and in this layout, what we have now opened the door for, which, which a lot of people have been asking for, is website analytics. So down the road, we're gonna have another section here that shows you the traffic, right? the people that have come to your site, the pages, how many pages they've seen, right? Uh, the average time on your site, okay? So that when you know that you're out and about, when you know that you've just shared an interview and someone else has just shared an interview, like how's it going? How is it doing Compare, you know, compared to before? Is your traffic going up? Is it going down, right? The more feedback you have, the better you can grow your neighborhood site.
All right. And then we'll have a leaderboard to show you how other realtors are doing. And then you can start to go, whoa, look at this realtor. Their traffic's skyrocketing. Let me check out their site. Let me see what they're doing differently. So we're super excited about the dashboard. Then you've got your profile. Okay. So all the different tabs, right, that you need to fill out, you've got here. Okay. You've got all the different media links. Okay. You've, and then we've put your, maybe I'll change the word integrations or subscriptions, integrations. This is where your Twitter auto posting is going to show. This is where your Facebook integration is going to show because that's coming. This is where your LinkedIn integration is going to come because that's coming. All right. So this is where you edit your profile. This is where you see your database, how many businesses are on your directory versus how many businesses, you know, are claimed and, and are control, in control of their profile. Hey, who do I want to feature? Just click over here. Hey, do I have any notes that I want to write about them? How many subscribers do I have? When do they subscribe? Okay. Leads. All right. Where do the leads come from? All right. So the, the, the data is a little bit lacking here because it's still the beta test. All right. But what's the lead? What's their contact information? Did I contact them? What are some actions and some notes? Hey, I want to add my own leads in here. Our university or all the education that you have. Okay, is now easily accessible down the side, so you can just check mark off which ones you did. All right, hey, got it, done. Got it, and whoa, look at this. 18% done, got it. 20% done, got it. All right, so we're gonna show you how much you've done so that you can see what you've got left to do. So this is going to be an ever-growing section and status bar so that you can see, hey, like, have I done everything that has helped other realtors grow the site? Because if not, what do I need to do next? All right, so constant feedback from our system on how to do this. Okay, then this is where you're going to add your listings and add your sold data. All right, it's all easily accessible from back here. And then the interviews. All right, so this whole user experience has changed. All right, to make it easier for you to upload all these interviews. Okay, so all the different interviews forms are going to show here. We've now got separate ones for video. So, hey, I've got a, I've got a video of a business. I'm just going to click on here. Okay, and just fill it out. Super easy, write a summary, done. Or hey, I wanna submit a draft. You know, uh, one, two, three, fake street. Here we go, Yunnan, China. That's where this business is. Okay, business name, Yunnan, China. Antiques. Okay, interview email, hi at yunanchina.com all right i input my youtube url here i got upload my business images my number hey i'm not done i mean i got the address wrong how could i have interviewed a business in china so i got some china antiques maybe it was yorkville china not yunan china all right save draft so when i go back to my profile all right, when I go back to my control panel, and I click on my interviews, I can see my drafts, and I, I can label them so it's easy for me to see. All right, but say I wanna do a written interview. All right, I'm gonna click over here, and I go and I just fill it all out, right? Add a picture, add another question, all right, nice and clean, neutral. Okay, we've studied modern design. And hey, for all of you who have noticed some of the spellings of neighborhood is wrong, 
right? The flags are down here. Okay, let's head back to the control panel. I'm really liking this name, control panel. Thank you, Shraley's. All right, so you got the interviews here. All right, and then and then over time, we've had people start to interview their neighbors, couples, families, singles. We've had people interview politicians. We've had people interview teachers, principals, you name it. It's all here. So we got tons of opportunity to create lots of templates to make it super easy for you um, to submit your content. And then in the future, right, we're going to be helping either integrate with your CRM or we might just build one, right? So that you're killing two birds with one stone. I'm meeting someone, I'm prospecting someone, I'm building a relationship. And then when I submit that information online, it's automatically going to my CRM or I'm using park benches. Okay, so um, all this is, we're super excited. Um, and this new design and this new infrastructure has allowed us to build, because there's, there's some already new features like in this, in this new design that weren't there before. And it's not only did we rebuild the entire site from the ground up, but we built some new features because now we can add things faster, right? So when we talk about having a Facebook integration and a LinkedIn integration, when we talk about having website analytics, when we talk about having a real estate search, when we talk about having um, custom hashtags for those social media integrations that you can upload your own, when we talk about having custom filters, because maybe when some content, maybe, you know, like you don't mind if real estate content goes in your neighborhood website because, hey, if it is a better website with better content, if it's local, I don't care if it promotes my competition because I know that that content is not going to make someone use that realtor. I know that my relationships will make that person use me over that other person. But maybe some of you are like, hey, I don't want all this real estate content. I don't want this religious content. I don't want this political content. I don't want, and, and you can apply your own custom filters um, for your own neighborhood site. That's going to be coming down the pipeline this year. Um, and this has also helped us have a better if you if uh, when you look at this on the mobile, it looks better. And when you look at this, um, this has really opened the door so we can build our app um, and have it look better and function better and do it faster. So uh, we are super excited to finally uh, get this out there and to have some of our clients beta test this. And then upon approval, from the, some of those beta testers, we're going to be unleashing it to the rest of the family, the rest of the realtors, um, later this month. And then with all things go well, it should replace the old site come March 2017. Okay, so that is an overview of Park Bench 2.0. So now I want to open it up. What did you like, right? What did you not like? What, what features do you want to see next? Is there anything that you want me to go over? Um, one of the things I actually did not show. Okay, we got the newsletter. All right, so we're, we're constantly figuring out new ideas for the newsletter. This is one of the final pieces that we're finishing. Okay, so, so please, uh, let's, let's, let's get the chat box active. Um, thank you, Lynn, great feedback. And hey, for all of you uh, newbies, uh, uh, people who, who are visitors, appreciate you for you coming on. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is 
share with you this link. Okay, so if you're new and you want to get a full, you know, if you want to talk to one of our marketing specialists just to really make sure this is a fit, right? Obviously, you know, you were probably uh, referred um, by one of our members um, or you found out about this online somehow. So, so if you want to talk to one of our guys to see if your area is available um, and and to, to, to claim your area, right? Um, and to talk about, you know, pricing, then, then there, I just put a link in there to fill it out. Okay, now for all the, the Park Bench members here, let's, let's get active right now. Okay, so it is gonna go live sometime in March. It really depends on everybody's feedback. So we've got an initial group of 20 beta testers who are getting it this week. Then we've got, um, then we're going to beta test it, you know, across the whole network to get some more feedback. And then um, what we're going to do is, is once everyone is given the thumbs up, we're going to switch it over. Marie, thank you. We're, we're super excited. Okay. And uh, th this is all being recorded as well. Right? Every, every mastermind we have is being recorded. All right. Great feedback. I'm just going through the chat box. Okay. Any, any, uh, any areas of the site that that uh, you guys want to go over, please put it in the chat box. Let us know. Okay. Um, any ideas? Awesome. Kathy checked mobile. Yeah, new.parkbench.com. Check it on your mobile. Yeah, videos. Videos where it's at. Take a look at this. All right. I think I think now now for everybody, when we push this live, we're gonna talk about we used to run this. Amanda and I did this campaign one time called Love Your Neighborhood. It was a marketing campaign. And we said, Hey, uh, write a review about the neighborhood on the neighborhood site and enter to win a hundred dollar gift card um, to a local business or hundred dollars in gift cards to local businesses, and then and then you know, the, the local businesses would give me gift cards. And then we got a whole bunch of people writing reviews who then created accounts. And then um, that, you know, then they, then they got, then they got, you know, the, the winner won the prize. We gave them the gift cards. We did like a little story on it. We took pictures with the winners. You know, we were in the community and t one, tons of users signed up Two, tons of content, unique content, reviews about the neighborhood, makes the neighborhood look better to people who are looking to move in the neighborhood. Um, and it allowed us to like get to know more people. So it was a really cool campaign. They were now bringing that back with this review of the neighborhood feature. So I'm really excited about that. Okay. Um, so yes, overall, if you are part of the beta test, um, play around with the site, add things to the site. However, however, big, big, big caution. This isn't the site. So if you actually want to add content to your site so that the world sees and so that it stays on the site, you got to go to the old site for now. Okay. Um, so yeah, Kathy, we'll, 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 we'll send out, a, I'll do a video and kind of a session about this new campaign. But in short, people can now review the neighborhood. So we came up with lots of ways to run contests to get people to review the neighborhood. And we would just get out in the community. We sent an email out to our friends. We posted a message on Facebook. We uh, went out in the community, handed out some you know, business cards saying, hey, review the neighborhood, enter to, to win gift cards to the neighborhood. And then we had a bunch of people sign up, write reviews. It, it, it helped us you know, get to know them and what they love about the neighborhood. Um, so it was easy, uh, it, it allowed us to follow up with them more. Usually tells, like when people talk about what they love about the neighborhood, they usually talk about what they love, period. You know, like, so that was a really cool contest that we're going to be bringing back. Um, so, so on the beta site, new.parkmatch.com, if you post 
blogs, if you post interviews, if you post videos, if you post events, if you post any content on it, it won't transfer over to the real site that's like parkbench.com without the new. And so eventually when we move everything over, okay, um, we're gonna, we're gonna just delete everything that was done on new.parkbench.com because this is just a beta to play around with. So you can start clicking around, typing things in, make spelling mistakes, you know, just, just play around with it and use it as if it was the real site, but it's not the real site. This is just a play around with to provide some feedback so we can figure out how to make changes. So eventually we will move it over and re completely replace the old site with the new design, with the new functionality. Um, and then all the content that was on the real site will now be transferred over to the, to the new design. Okay, so um, if you are, like, like the fact that you're on this webinar means you have access to beta test it. So you just need to go to new.parkbench.com, go type in your neighborhood, Go look at other neighborhoods, log in, okay, um, and and that's and that's the beta site to play around with. Great question, thank you. All right, but you can like like if you wanted to go over here and, and go to your control panel and say, hey, I want to post, I want to post a blog. I'm going to go over to the interviews. I'm going to click on here. And I'm going to go, you know, grants, fitness, business, owner, grant, Finley Sheris. Uh, grant is awesome. He is fit. He knows how to get people fit. Um, personal trainer, you know, blah, 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 right? So, so the idea is here is you can just enter a bunch of stuff, type in a new question, new question, da, 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 right? There are some essential fields, okay? Then there's some different ones. This is going to create a business, you know, free session, expiry date. It's going to expire in 2000. This coupon will expire here. New customer coupon, you know, free three pack. Okay, and this is gonna expire here. Blog headline, all right. Meet Grant, owner of Grant's personal training, one of the best personal training companies in Liberty Village. As you can see, there's tons of spelling mistakes. That's okay, it's the beta site, you know. Browse an image, right, find a photo. Okay, it doesn't even have to be. Um, doo -doo -doo. Headshots. There we go. Business image, go over here and post. Please fill out this field. Oh, good. Uh, 150 East Liberty Street. Post interview. Please fill out another field. Five, 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 five. And now it's posted. Whoa, something went wrong, right? Now, we all know, right? I'm so happy this happened because we are giving you guys a reward, right? $25 off your next year for every bug. So I just go like this, and then I open up an email, and this is all you gotta do, right? I'm gonna, and this is perfect. Like This is like the best thing that could have happened right now because you're going to find bugs, all right? So we want to we want to write an email, support at parkbench.com, okay? And we're going to call this uh, bug 
bug submitting interview. And then it's like, um, I'm using Chrome. I have a Mac. Right, you want to give a context? I was trying to submit an interview. Um, got an error screen. And then I upload my screenshot. All right, this is 101, how to report bugs, right? Bang, $25 off my next, off my renewal. All right, and we're gonna, we're gonna keep track of this and tell you at the end how many you got. All right, so that's, that's, that's good that that actually happened. So I could show everybody how to report a bug. All right. Questions. Arizona. How are we doing in Arizona? Well, let's take a look. We're coming to Berkshire Hathaway in March. Going to Phoenix for the Berkshire Hathaway concert. I know that. All right. So here is Arizona. All right. So the whole bunch of areas here. Right, and I just did a check the other day. We got, we got, uh, what is it? North Awatuki, Awatu, Awatu. How do you spell Awatuki? Ah, wa, North Ah, wa, Tuki, Realtor. Bang, number two, Hughes Realtor. I was looking at this the other day, number two and three and four. Bang. All right, so we're doing all right. We're doing all right in Arizona. It's actually one of, one of our better states. Yeah, so. Right, so for all, for all I know, realtors have been, you know, we, we talk about, we talk about like, you know, the, the, the real purpose of buying this, everyone knows, is the relationships, right? Relationships generate referrals, create leads, create business, target the people you want in your network to get the kind of buyers and sellers that you want to get, right? This is a relationship building platform, but we always say, hey, we're good at SEO, trust us, we're good at SEO, and, 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 we know how to show up for the name of the neighborhood plus the word realtor. Just give us time. We never know when, but we're good at it. We've done it so many times. And uh, I was just checking that out the other day. So um, if it's not happening for you yet, just be patient. Right? Just give us time. We are the largest network of realtors doing interviews in North America. We are one of the fastest, if not the fastest, website for neighborhoods. Next door and us. Um, we out index next door online. There's more pages on Park Bench than on Next Door. And we're we're been around half as long. We're not funded. We just straight up have a better technology and a better platform than them. So so there you go. How are we able to rank above Zillow and Realtor.com? It was impossible, right? We talked about this with realtors. It's impossible to rank above Zillow and Realtor.com. If you're a single person's website, but if you're a portal, if you're a network, you can. And so we don't, we're never, I'm not trying to compete against Zillow and Realtor.com and Trulia for listings, right? Like they're going to just always be there when people search for homes. But when people search for stuff in the neighborhood, we actually might do better than than the big guys in that because that's our game, right? We are the number one source of local content. There is no one who's got more content about neighborhoods than we do. That's just our thing, right? Which is the value so that you can build relationships, right? But it's also the SEO play. Um, great question. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Realtors market park bench on next door. It's part of the training. We want realtors to market their park bench on next door. 
um, because Nextdoor's got people. So do Facebook groups, so do LinkedIn groups. And when you have a cool event or deal or business or interview or listing or blog on your neighborhood website, you have a reason to add value to people on these other community groups, whether they're on Nextdoor or Facebook or LinkedIn, you know? So 100%, we had a realtor in Portland, shout out to Frank. He, he uh, got started, did some interviews, shared it on his next door because there were hundreds of people on his next door. And he had 385 people go to his website from next door to read his article where he is able to promote himself and promote his business and promote his properties freely on Park Bench. And he can't on next door. And his competition's on next door but they are nowhere on his website. So 100%, we, we love Nextdoor uh, because they're, they're like a social network for neighborhoods. We're the Google for neighborhoods. We're the search engine for neighborhoods. We're the portal for neighborhoods um, where, where Nextdoor is just social. So um, yes, interview people, right? Go to your friends, go to your family, go to your neighbors, right? Start with people that you know and be like, hey, so so you live here, and and I'm looking to, you know, be like I'm looking to help people get to know the people in the community, right? This this neighborhood website that I've sponsored and I'm an ambassador for is all about shopping local, helping people get to know the local business owners, but also I want to help people get to know the neighbors, right? There's been lots of you know, stories and, and, and I think research that the more people know each other in the community, the safer it is. So as a person who lives here and as a person who is trying to sell real estate here, I want to increase the safety of the community. And one of the ways I can do that is by interviewing the homeowners and help people get to know the homeowners. Now, I'm going to make you look good. I'm going to showcase what you do right? Why you do what you do, your hobbies, your interests, like this is going to make you look good. I know you don't have a business, but, but you obviously have a story. You're a person and I want to showcase you in a positive light. Would you like to be interviewed and featured on this local site? Okay. So a hundred percent go after the teachers, go after principals, go after coaches of sports teams, go after just your neighbors, couples. There's, there's a cool site starting in Toronto um, called, uh, what? There's, there's a cool site in Toronto um, that's, that's for one neighborhood where they're interviewing singles. And I'm telling you, if you go after singles, one, they're the future buyers, okay? The, the singles are the future buyers. They're also a huge draw right? Dating is massive. And if you start interviewing singles and saying, hey, you want to get to know some of the single people who live in the area? Check out this local website. People will flock in droves to read about these people. And now, now if you go to people like my parents and I know like, you know, the introverts and, and the shy people, yeah, they, they may not want to be interviewed, but you go tell my mom, hey, mom, her name's Anne. You want to go? You want to go read about people in Shaughnessy? She will fly to her phone to freaking do it. She is nosy and noopsy. She loves the gossip, right? She'll never be featured, but she will read every single article, right? Now you go talk to people like me. I would have done it, right? Amanda and I would do it, right? I know there's people in this office who are single who would love to be interviewed and featured, right? Because they want to pick up. Right. They want to be a star. Everyone's got their Instagrams and their their Snapchats. Like so many people are mini stars in their life or trying to be mini stars within their neighborhood and their city and their group of friends. And so I this, this we're going to be doing lots more training about this. But it's simple. Right. Just just go ask people. Right. You go talk about wanting to wanting a cold call every morning because that's a key success factor of every realtor is I, I call for an hour, two hours a day, right? My database. What a reason is to do it. Hey, so I'm a sponsor ambassador for the site and 
you know, one of the things I want to do is help people get to know the people who live here. And I know you do. You're my friend. So I figured, you, one, you might want to help me out. But two, like, I can make you look good. And I know you're single. You're looking to pick up. Or, hey, you and your wife are like a power couple. Like, I want to show people who you are and what you do. You guys are philanthropic. You guys are rock stars in your industries. Like, I want to profile you. Or, hey, like, your family is just so interesting. Like, your husband's an executive. You got this little side gig. Your your son is like a big athlete. Like, your daughter is like a big dancer. Like, there's so many things. Um, there's so many angles here that you can get people engaged. And it's a way to get at the homeowner, right? We all talk about, yeah, yeah you want to prospect the business owners because they own homes and they're influential. But let's just get after the homeowners um, because, yeah, like that will make – I know, I know, I know internally as much as I can, I can create – anecdotes and stories and research and reasons why interviewing business owners and professionals and teachers and, and, and directors of nonprofits is a fantastic thing for your business. I know you are going to feel very happy and very productive and very, you know, uh, successful if you, if you every day are interviewing a homeowner who's just a person. So, um, great, great question. And I'd love to see more of that. Um, any other thoughts, right? So, so, um, the webinar was, was going to end at three o'clock. I know we went a little bit over time. It's, it's, it's been an hour since we probably started. So, um, one, if you guys have stuff to do today, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you being here, Facebook and, and Instagram live. I appreciate any of you for watching, um, you know, I know I wasn't looking at you entirely this entire time. So hopefully this was still exciting because you could have been playing around with the website and listening to me live at the same time. Um, I know we were live on YouTube. Um, any other feedback from Park Bench family members? All right. Is there anything that you want to see? Is there anything that you want me to go over? Is there any questions? Um, any feedback? Critical feedback. Hey, we love the critical feedback, right? It's how we grow. So uh, please let us know. Otherwise, I'm going to wish you a fantastic day and a fantastic week. I'm going to put positive energies out in the universe for all my Park Bench family members. I'm going to wish you well. All right, I want to see more results. When that leaderboard, that leaderboard we got going on, I can't wait to see these numbers just climb. Right, with how active everybody is. There is no group or organization doing more interviews in North America than Park Bench. Um, and it's thanks to you all. We are the best at this idea. It's popping off, right? Like you go to the conferences, you go to the trade shows, you talk to brokers, like everyone's talking about, you know, doing interviews. Um, and uh, And so, you know... And people are coming to us. People are looking at us as the role models. So we're going to continue to evolve, continue to innovate, and continue to be the best. So that, you know, there's real value, right, for doing it with us. Any other questions? That's only 12. Pacific. I love the West Coast. I'm from Vancouver. For all of you that don't know, I am a Vancouver, British Columbia native. Yes, this is the leaderboard. And yeah, it's going to be a monthly leaderboard. Um, because then, you know, the people who have been on for more months, if we just did a running total, it, it would, the same names would be at the top. So every month we're going to, we're going to do a leaderboard. And uh, I want to start, I want to start doing contests. Look at this. There you go. Jeff, you beat me to the punch. Fantastic idea. Um, yes, right? Like, as, as entrepreneurs, you're always on your own. You know, like, it's your business. Maybe you have a team, right? But for most of us, and even if you do have a team, it's still like, it's like you versus, you know, everybody else. And I think there's such a unique opportunity for to bring everybody together. We can do games, we can do contests, we can have rewards. And it's because, because 
when when we had one person selling park bench they didn't do as well as when they had two and they were going back and forth competing against each other and they didn't do as well when there was a team around them right so there's so many benefits to having a like to being a part of a team and uh thank you valerie for that feedback we will so there's so many advantages to being a part of a team and we want to bring everybody together because you guys aren't competing you know, and you can help each other raise your levels of performance, right? We've got our Facebook group, right? Our private, our private Facebook group. That's, that's getting pretty active with realtors on it, sharing great ideas. Um, but we want to do some contests and we want to reward people, right? So at the very least, we're going to do some rewards off their second year um, for people who win these contests. Um, just to encourage more, because we just... We just know, like I know as a company, hey, my short-term loss from taking taking some money off one person's you know year long term is going to help more people do this, more people be successful, um, and that's going to help us grow as a company who is trying to help realtors in more places do this, and it's going to help everybody just get more results being being a part of this kind of you know game where they compete against their Park benchers. Um, so Norm, good question. Okay, so so this is like part of our technology is we automatically aggregate local content from around the web. That is like our intellectual property that no one's got. We are the best. So so when someone becomes a sponsor of their site we build them out a website for the area and we add all the news and the events um, and it comes from so many different sources we actually surpass here's the kind of big win park bench has surpassed we have over 1 million local news articles over 1 million local events and over 1 million local businesses on all of our sites huge win passing the million dollar mark and all of that is generated by us right the realtor does nothing the only thing that the realtor does is they post the interviews because the interview is the new way of prospecting it's the new way of relationship building that allows you to easily get that prospect meeting one-on-one -on -one, face to face with a person who's like, I'm excited to meet you, Mr. Realtor, Mrs. Realtor. And when we sit down, I will tell you anything you want to know about me because I want this information showcased to the community because I've got a product to promote. I've got a service to promote. I've got an event. I'm, I'm a teacher. I'm just a musician on the side. Okay. And then, um, what we're building, so right now, you can post the interview to Park Bench, and then we, you can sync your Twitter with your neighborhood site, and then it will automatically post to your Twitter, and then we're adding a Facebook and a LinkedIn integration so that it will automatically post there as well. So um, we want to reduce the workload as much as possible we want to automate, right? And the beauty of technology is automation. We're constantly building features to help you automate stuff that should be automated because the one thing that can't be automated is relationship building. And that's the one thing that works better than anything at building a business in real estate. So uh, great question, Norm. All right, so everybody get on it. New.parkbench.com. Um, test it out, find some bugs, give us some feedback. Okay. We're going to reward people 25 bucks off your next year for every bug that you find. Um, and, uh, let's, let's test it out. Let's get it, run it through the ringer over the next couple of days. Then let's launch it to the rest of the network. Like have everybody in the network run it through the ringer and then let's make some final tweaks and then launch it and make this your site as fast as possible. That's our goal. We're super excited. I hope this was a fun mastermind. I know I was, I was, I was going through the product, so I wasn't able to get active in the chat box, but 
I had my, my lead developer there. Everyone say thank you, Jack. If you're on there, say thank you, Jack and Alex for leading the development of this new site. Thank you, Jack and Alex. We got amazing developers over here at Park Bench who said, give us four months. We had agencies bid on the rebuild and they said it would take six to eight months. And they were like, we can do it in four. Give us the chance. And we did. And they came through in the clutch under budget because whose money is the budget? It's, it's the networks. So they saved us money, which helped you get a better site faster and for cheaper so we can take your funds and put it towards new features faster than we could. Hiring these amazing agencies that tout, look at all these clients. And they say, hey, good for you, but we're doing just fine. We got ninjas over here. So thank you, Jack and Alex. Everyone, everyone give them a round of applause for coming up with this. The design, the functionality, everything. They are the leaders. All right, everybody, thank you so much. Have yourself a great Monday. And, uh, and if, you're, if you're new and you want to get a full demo, I posted it again in the chat box. Facebook and Instagram Live, thank you so much for your time. I hope this was, was a cool, it's like unleashing. I should have worn a, a black turtleneck. And uh, let, me, let me turn off my... Thank you, everybody. If you ever have any questions about how to use the new site, don't hesitate to contact support at parkbench.com. You have your toll-free number. I wish I had it memorized. I don't. Um, it's on my phone, which is currently being used for Instagram Live. But it's on the site somewhere. And uh, otherwise, you should have your account manager's contact information, their email, their phone number. If you have any questions, lean on us, abuse us, put us to work. And let's get this thing going. Great session, everybody. Thank you so much. And uh, have yourself a great day. Bye for now.